Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the coronavirus and with everything that's been going on, it is so scary to think about that a virus like this can spread, you know, so quickly among us and especially, you know, in, in this time and age where, you know, we're flying constantly, we're constantly touching surfaces, we're, we're constantly exposed to viruses like this and it is just so scary to think about, you know, how, how fast a, a pandemic can spread and how fast a virus like this can spread across multiple continents. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the items that I have purchased, the items that I believe are worth stockpiling. Now, in no way am I giving any medical advice here. These are just items that I have purchased for my family because I believe that they will be useful to have on hand in case there was a state of emergency or in case things like this started flying off the shelves because we all know history shows that in Hurricane Katrina and all of these emergencies, all of these items were quickly flying off the shelves and if you don't have anything, you know, pre prepared, then you are going to be one of those people that may be left without. So I'd rather be safe than sorry and I do have a few things that I have stored for my family. So today I actually went and I picked up a few things things that were actually quite inexpensive I found at the dollar store and of course some of these things <laughs> are not from the dollar store um, but um, some of these things can be purchased there and so preparing you know for emergencies like this does not have to be expensive so so one of the most important items I think are masks and for the obvious reasons we want to make sure that we keep ourselves protected not just from the coronavirus, but from the flu. And I mean, you just want to stay safe altogether. So I always keep some of these on hand. However, every time I go to like a Kaiser um, or one of my providers, I grab a handful of them <laughs> and I've gotten quite a collection by now. <laughs> um, I do pay a lot of money for my health care. So if I grab a couple of extra masks, I don't think my doctor mind. Just saying. The other thing I keep handy for sure is alcohol prep pads because we're constantly touching things like our phones and tablets and keyboards and we don't even realize how many um, germs we're you know transmitting from one surface to another and our phones are just full of disgusting germs. I actually slide one of these into the, the case um, in between my phone. I'll wipe it down at least once or twice a day and then I'll slip another one um, in there and the other thing I keep of course is latex gloves and if you start finding that you know the coronavirus is getting into your city and into your towns this is definitely something to have on hand the other things you should have on hand is trash bags. I actually just picked these up at the dollar store. They're very inexpensive and I do also have my biohazard bags, but I just thought it'd be a good idea just to have a few extra bags. The other thing I have is Lysol disinfecting wipes. Now, of course, this isn't all that I have, guys. I'm just showing you this for the sake of the video. I have a lot more wipes and in different brands. I honestly don't care care about the brand names for a lot of these things they work just the same I, you know I don't really care about the name brand as long as it works so I would encourage you guys to save if you um, you know are, are frugal like myself when in your preps so the dollar store is a great place to visit for things like this the other thing I would get besides uh, trash bags would be like plastic sheeting. I didn't set it out for you guys. However, I do have some plastic sheeting in a roll that is stashed away. Um, but you can purchase plastic sheeting online. Or another great idea from the dollar store is, or any store really, is to purchase um, cheap uh, shower curtains. The plastic shower curtains are actually really good for covering, you know, and if you needed to, to secure a certain area or quarantine someone, you know, if you had a bunch of shower curtains, you could also use that at least to keep the, the most exposed areas like the doors and, and, and windows covered. Shower curtains or tarps are a great alternative. 
Another thing that I would have on hand um, to sanitize surfaces would be rubbing alcohol, um, any form of alcohol to clean surfaces. You can also um, use, <laughs> you know, vodka <laughs> or actual alcohol. Another thing that you can use is bleach, and I did not put one up here on my bed <laughs> for obvious reasons if it spills over. Um, you know, peroxide is also good to have uh, to clean wounds and of course, for soothing, you know, for soothing your family and, and they have the flu, you have, you know, everything like the NyQuil brands and all of that. But I just, I grab these at the dollar store. So all of, all of these, you know, are going to be useful and they are inexpensive. So I did pick some up along with some um, mu mucus relief, you know, to break up the phlegm and some um, vaporizing chest rub, you know, like you can get like Dayquil, NyQuil, um, all of these things. I have like extra strength pain relief here um, and it helps you sleep. So those kind of things, things that can help you soothe, um, you know, your family when they're sick, uh, halls, cough drops, all of that is really good to have on hand as well because all of these things you you don't realize how fast they go the other thing I keep on hand is pure honey I do I'll always have a jar of honey on hand and now that I live on a bus I only keep one but I used to keep multiple but at least one jar of honey will come in handy to have with tea and you know I like cinnamon so you know help you with the congestion and you know with with soothing your sickness and um, I really like to have it on hand the other thing I have is like anti-diarrhea medicine and like, you know, Pepto-Bismol type stuff um, to help with nausea and all of that good stuff. Stomach viruses, stomach flus, and some more pain reliever. This is just Tylenol, basically. Um, and I also keep some ibuprofen. These are 800 milligrams. And so I have those on hand along with regular ibuprofen. I do have some as well. The other thing I have on hand is multivitamins for my family and, of course, for myself. And some B12 spray. I take this, actually, like, I try to take it every day. Um, but I like to have that on hand as well in my stocks. Even though this is not really flu-related, this is great to have on hand. The other thing I have is Orgel because that's, like, the worst thing, you know, to have a toothache in the middle of everything. I do also keep some aqua tabs. These are the set to, you know, make water potable. Um, if it's not, if it's not. <laughs> um, and so this, these I, I keep on hand as well with my medical preps. And of course, I also keep a thermometer um, in my first aid kit and in my emergency kit. The other thing that I have here is a little guide for medicinal plants. And this is just like a handheld one. I do have my SAS survival guide and among other books, but these this is actually just stored within my medical prep. So it's just I have something on hand. So if that's something that you're interested in, then I would grab it. I got it off Amazon. I'll provide links at the bottom for that and for this this is actually an antibiotic guide that i have and like i said none of this is any medical advice and you should always seek a professional's advice when taking any medication but this is for me and my family um during shtf so i have something to you know to reference back to and the reason I have it is because I also do have a few antibiotics on hand. I have some dicloxacillin, amoxicillin, some cephalexin, basically K-flex, and I also have some sulfameth. And so I have all of these on hand. I also do have Cipro, uh, but I didn't put it out. It's in my other medical box. These are items that I feel I'm gonna want to have on hand during an emergency like the coronavirus that is 
quickly spreading <laughs> and I honestly I'm so glad that I'm starting you know my little stockpile here and these are things that I have for myself and my family and I hope that this helped you put together some items to keep your family safe in case this were to get further out of hand and hopefully I hope they get this under control you guys now if there's something you don't see here besides you know the bleach that I mentioned and the plastic sheeting please leave it down in the comments I I really would love to know things that I don't have so that I can try to acquire them before SHTF if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can see you in the next video all right guys thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later